Right, okay. I'm gonna whip the uh, headlight panel off now and the uh, lights, whatever we can get to. About to come across a few problems. Two screws there, nice and easy. Cut the screws on the indicators. These are a bit faded. I did notice when I took it apart earlier that it had a, a yellow bulb in it, which is perfectly legal if you've got fading, uh, fading lenses. You can have faded lenses or clear lenses as long as it flashes yellow when you turn the indicator on. All right, okay. <coughs> Three screws came out of that one, nice and easy. And a little bit of abuse. Leave it's gone. A little bit of abuse that comes out. It's only plastic but it does push into the metal part of the backing. And okay, the next thing we'll come across problems. One, two, three screws. This one. Two choices. You can either drill the head off or with the knife, because it's only a plastic backing, with the knife you can weaken. Weaken the plastic around the bolt head. If you can get on it with a pair of pliers, then uh, it's all well and good. I'm going to need my lever. Right in front of me, lovely. Okay, it may end up getting broken. But we're going to do a light upgrade on this anyway, but because I've weakened it, Yep, lovely. See that? Come in and have a look. I cut a nice square around that bolt head. So now, if I want to reuse this backing, there's nothing wrong with it, it's not rotten, it's just a screw. Then um, I should now be able to get the mole grips. The mole grips on that head, now we can get to it. And um, I win. Right, okay. Um, I'll put that out of the mould whips and back in a second. The next, next bit. Yeah, a cup of tea sounds good actually. Right, okay, let's do this first. Mould whips, have a look at the bolt head. Lovely. I win. Loosen that. That'll come all the way out. Right, next, if you come around behind me. The uh, wire. Come around inside, I've got you near. And I've got the um, flexible wheel arch off already. And here is the wiring loom. Obviously, you can get to it from under the bonnet, but that would be uh, a mission. Right, so I've got a black and a green out of the um, bottom. Remember where they go, they'll be different on with different models, but that's solid green. It's just a bullet connector, solid green into uh, green and white. And then black is the earth, so we'll pull that one out as well. You normally can give them a good tug because they're crimped in there quite well from the factory. Okay, that's black, and the top one is a black one as well, which we've just undone. And red, which is the side light circuit, so we'll pop that bullet connector out as well. And then, that comes the front panel. There's the light unit, so... Uh, I think we'll probably do a light upgrade on this, so that's that. Pop that round the front, and we'll show you the last couple of bits that hold the headlight in. Can't believe how well this is all coming undone. If you get problems with it, the bits on these cars are so cheap, just rip it out, buy a new one. It's all sides. Three screws in the, in the headlight um, hole. And away we go. A bit crusty, so we can change that one for a new one of some sort. And the headlight silver's all finished. And just a uh, point of interest, you can have a look at the uh, headlight on it. Before I unplug the wires, there's one of the adjusters for your beam, and one there. So you've got it's adjustable on two planes with two screws. Um, the other point's fixed. And three screws that hold the little silver ring in, that hold that old red light in. If you go as far as doing that, 
then I think a definite headlight upgrade is uh, part of the course. Right, okay, I'll whip the wires out on that and we'll be back for the next bit. Right, okay, we're going to whip the outer wing off now to give us uh, a bit better view of uh, bits and bobs underneath. Um, <clears throat> it's joined here, all the way along the top. A bit of a long extension. There's four you can get to there with the um, reservoir out of the way. Nice long extension and a ratchet without too much bother. And what we do now is we'll lift it up. <coughs> oh, sorry, there's a little bracket. One bracket there because I'm going to take the whole thing off. <coughs> but we might as well cover the um, last details as well. One bolt at the back, bracket there. All the um, bolts on the halfway joint. Um, and we'll get it off and we'll cover the rest. We'll take the outer skin off first. Right, so we'll lift it up and we'll have a look in the wheel arch. And then we'll move on. Right, okay, back in the rear arch, and the reason I pointed out those uh, four bolts from inside the, underneath the bonnet, is because of the um, wheel arch liner. You can't get up onto them from in here, but the rest of them, all the ones that are up around here and up the back, you can get onto them with a spanner. You can just about with the um, flexible arches off, you can get your hands up there and uh, got a nice little ratchet spanner for doing it. Uh, it's pretty good actually, nice and easy. Um, <coughs> at the back. 413mm or half inch. One, two, three, four. It's done with a nice extension if you ain't got one that long, just glue a few together. Not glue, just stick them together. And um, one, two, three, four. One little 10mm bolt down here, nut and bolt there. As you can see. And while you're under there, if you have a look up, you can see the um the bracket. There's four bolts up there between the uh, outer and the uh, wheel arch liner. So uh Save you some bother, hopefully. Right now, uh, it's the first time I've done it, but in true TV fashion, here's some bolts that I undid earlier. So let's have a look. See if it is as easy as that. Twist and fit. Just to push, we've got about that. Well, that's good condition. All that's done is get battered up and down the mountain for a few years. Right, that's that. So push and fit on the light bulb. Now you can see where the bolts are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven along the top, four down the back. Uh, that was part of the reason why it was a little bit difficult to get off because I left that one uh, holding the um, back wing up because if you look at the back edge of the wing it slots except for the top one so, so it looked like it was still on while we were filming right okay wheel arch liner I'll get myself ready ah okay I'll come and have a quick look at this this is the um the bit that we were trying to get to when we were taking the front panel off right down there is the square nut captive nut that's spinning. So what I try and do is we'll find a socket that will fit over the uh, 12 point socket that will fit over that and um, get a grip on it. We'll see about that in a second. Right, back in. 